it's funny that you mentioned, I think you said the word corny because sometimes artists feel like some of the more corny stuff, they still would want to do something with it. Yeah. I, I just tweeted, I think it was this week because there are a lot of corny rappers out there, but what makes them more corny is that they fight their corny. Like what makes, right. what makes people cool is people kind of owning who they are and being right, embracing it, embrace, you know, just embracing who they are, being comfortable in their own skin. Um, and that kind of can reverse your corny. Like people will just, yeah, oh, that dude, that, that leaning in cool. Um, leaning in is so, yeah. I mean, it, like I had a client who I no longer work with who was the best male singer, male vocalist I've ever heard. And I was like, you need to get on TikTok. Like, you don't even have to do narrative stuff like everyone else. You can just get on TikTok and sing and you're going to go viral. And he did. And I don't work with him anymore, but he went like super viral on TikTok, which he then did on IG Instagram Reels. And he's now like getting label offers from everyone uh, and pub deals. Um, but he he wouldn't get on it for years or years. TikTok been around months. Um, but he was like, it's corny. I don't want to be like everyone else. It feels like, you know, disingenuous. And I'm like, just just trust me, like find your space and lean into it. And and like the second you stop worrying about what other people think is the second you start to grow. 